Hey, how's it going everybody? My name's The King and today we are going to talk about the Splice app. So I want to do this intro real quick just so we have something that we can kind of focus on editing. So this is what we'll be editing in the Splice app and let's get over to it. All right, whenever you open up Splice, the very first thing you will see is this and it's basically just showing what your projects are that you're working on. If you don't have a project, it takes you to new project and shows up with all your stuff. You click the media that you want in your project and like we are doing this one right here, but I have already started this video. You would just hit next and it asks you to name your video and you'll want to put it if it's for you know YouTube or Instagram or whatever. All that stuff is at the bottom of the screen so that you can get started. Once all that is done, it brings up this. So obviously your picture that you have is right here. Your timeline is highlighted and is this blue bar. Uh, this is the play button and you can hit this little square right here and it makes it widescreen. You can mute your entire clip by hitting that. When you are doing this, if you forgot like a piece of media, you can go down and hit the media button and it goes back into it you have the text button. So you can put closed captions in this. You can put a title, like that creates a title screen for you. You could have changed the color of that too. You can do all types of stuff to make a title. Then you have text. So you have your text box right here and the very first thing can just say test. And let's move that up to the top. You just click it and hold down. If you forgot something, you can edit your text. You can hit color and change the text, text color itself. You can change the background or you can change the format. But for this, we will just keep it to the center. So I am gonna highlight that again and show you, you can also change the font. The, this actually has a pretty decent amount, decent amount of fonts to it. Let's go with Arial Rounded. Opacity, so opacity is how, kind of how much it shows up on the screen. So as I slide down, you see that it makes a little bit more see-through. So if you did have something that you just kind of to want to make extra in the background, that is fine. And if you move your little gold bar here back to the beginning of that, you can actually add another line of text and we'll just put test two. And that one will move down to the bottom. And now you have text in your video, you can do all the same thing. We want to go ahead and get rid of this so you can duplicate, split, or delete. Let's go ahead and delete these. Now, the very first thing that we are gonna wanna do is I want to trim off the beginning of this video. So I've got it highlighted and I can just move the arrow down and that is trimming off some of the video. You can do that very same thing here at the end. And then let's say you wanted to, you wanted to make a split. So let's split that. And you can extract the audio from it. You can mute just that section. You can just get rid of that section. You can do all types of stuff, and if that's not exactly what I wanted to do, I could just hit back up in the top left corner, and now it's back to normal. You can also change the volume of your speech. This gets a very important whenever you're trying to balance your speech and your music. 
with the music I did notice after uploading some of these you do have the music does get a little louder when you actually post so if you have your music where you want it in this video you actually want to take it down like five notches and then it will actually sound right not really sure why it's kind of weird but I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to say that so let's say we wanted to split this and split this right here and then I wanted to move this middle split to the beginning you just tap down and hold and drag it on over and boom it is now at the beginning some other controls you have if you want to speed up or slow down a section do it do a section in slow-mo like if i wanted this part in slow-mo split split and then this highlighted section speed i could put it slow-mo and as you can see it made the timeline for it a little longer the next thing extract is over here again if you uh don't just use the little quick buttons you can extract you can reverse a clip too so it plays back you can duplicate the clip you can animate a clip so let's just say this whole thing was the animation so we have at the very beginning that's what it looks like and then at the very end see it's zoomed in you can play around with that you can click the in frame and move it around so it actually does something different you can usually what i actually end up using this for is if i split a section and then split another section and i'm gonna have some text pop up over on the like left hand side i will end it like right here so that the text can pop up on the left side of me and then I'll just have it move back into place as the text disappears so that is kind of a pro tip that I learned obviously you can I could make it so it played like this you can zoom in and if you have those splits in place you can keep things a little bit more interesting, I guess. So you put a split here, and then let's say you wanted that little bit of zoom in for this section. Oh, hold on. There, I had to turn off the Ken Burns. So, little bit of zoom in, and Ken Burns is still on for this. <laughs> Usually I don't play around with this and turn it on and off, so sorry about that. So for this, my eyesight is pretty much in the exact spot it was gonna be, so that's perfect. You want your eye line to be just about in the same spot, so it's not super jarring for someone. And then let's do another split here just for fun and maybe I want to move it back out you just pinch and move don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video too guys I am working really really hard on these and trying to make sure that everyone gets up to speed so please do not forget to subscribe the next thing that I'm going to show you make sure we didn't miss anything here you can crop you can add all types of filters I'm not really big on any of these preset filters so if I did want to kind of play with this I would just do the adjustments myself and that was all on this little adjust button right in the center the next thing so you have your audio you can do a voiceover with the bottom portion. You can add sounds. There is a pretty fair sound 
um, sound clip section in this. So let's just say cartoon, you've got all of these, and we'll do creaky, give you a little preview of it, and add. So now we have that on here, and there is the sound clip for it. And you can also speed up that, you can change the volume, whatever you would like. You also have music, and this gives you, I mean, there are a bunch, a bunch of tracks in here. If you are pulling some, like a sound clip from another uh, source, like something that you downloaded online, you would have to hit the music tab, do imported music, and then these are the sound clips that I have imported. When you have this open, you just hit files, then click it and it'll download it on there. That is something that I did not realize till after a little while and it is totally a game changer. The next thing I've got for you is your overlay. So you could put something in, let's just put this cause I used this in a previous video and see it shows up kind of crazy like that. So this is what I was talking about earlier where I would move this to the side and I would do that Ken Burns effect. So we have our splits just like that and animate and enable. And then at the end, I want to be We'll see right there. So then hit play. And it moves me over and you do have to adjust this part so that it lines up pretty well. I'm not going to worry about that. But then once you know your overlay is done, let's say we stretched it out about there, you would do another split and then a split and you would want to end it back here. So that is how you make a cool little moving frame intro of a overlay. And the last thing we have is effects. The effects are okay. There's not a ton. We've got glitchy, loud is super crazy. Vintage has that TV format. I kind of like that old TV, that is wicked too. And chroma. So yeah, you, you can do all types of crazy, crazy little things on this. So let's say our video was ready to go, everything is all set. You go up in the top right hand corner and you hit the little arrow and it goes to upload. You probably want to do full HD. I do mine in ultra 4K, but you just hit that and then save and it will take, it takes a little bit. You can't do anything else whenever you are doing this, but it sends it to your camera roll and then you are all set to put it on YouTube as long as everything looks good. If you do have any other questions about anything, go ahead and just put it in the comments and I will go ahead and get back to you. And if there is anything crazy that I did miss on here, just uh, put in the comments and I can even make another video if need be. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.